The bankers are interesting people. I know. That's a terrible <laughs> thing. I know, I know. <laughs> you know, they, they travel, they are cultural, yeah. they go to the opera exhibition. Ao ouvir estas palavras do autor de Banksters, uma viagem ao submundo dos banqueiros, quase somos levados a acreditar que eles, os banqueiros, são pessoas normais, como nós. Mas não se deixem iludir. Banksters resulta da combinação das palavras bankers e gangsters. Na edição portuguesa do livro, Marco Rocha dedicou umas páginas à derrocada do BES com o título Até o Espírito Santo precisa de ser controlado. Portanto, apesar de serem pessoas muito interessantes e sofisticadas, será que os banqueiros se safam no dia do juízo final? They feel all these. All of them. Yeah. Except for laziness. Except for laziness because bankers are hard working because the only way you make a lot of money is by working very hard. He is an uber bankster. He symbolizes bankster per se. First, because his bank was enormous for a small country. Secondly, because he believed that he was above the law, he believed in impunity, he had close linked with politicians, he had close linked with a feeble regulator, and he had the central bank in his hand. He used tax havens, nasty one, Panama, Luxembourg. He was hidden things from the auditor, or the auditor were complicit with or no. He is the Uber Bankster. I would rank him pretty high around seven or eight. He would be the Uber Bankster too, because he should have resigned morally, ethically. Um, he didn't see anything, he didn't want to see anything, he was too close to the family. In a small country it happens very often this toxic triangle, government, finance and regulators. So I would give him an eight and nine, then I leave it for the devil. Well, it's a good analogy, but of course, the great danger with that is that you play in the conspiracy theory. Banksters are not drug dealers. What banksters do is very often legal. Simply, it's immoral. It's all the Portuguese society in the elite which was complicit. So you have really to look into it, almost do what the South African did with their commission on apartheid. Absolutely, it's a moral duty to resign because they can't expect the public to be ethical if they don't show the example. But these people never listen. Key.